<laughs> and I just want to politely say, y'all need to send y'all teacher a tip. Like five, ten dollars every three days. You understand me? Because I'm so sick. Uh, I'm so sick of virtual learning. First and foremost, I, I'm sick of virtually failing two, two people at one time. If I fail one more child and their grandmother, I'm going to be upset about GPAs. Anybody date and I see some of y'all look coupled up, I see you, I see you out here. You just turned 21. That's your man right now. That's your man for real right now. And you just turned 21. You just started drinking. You brought this motherfucker with you. Stop. You can't tell me that motherfucker at home. That's your real friends. The real friends tell me, girl, don't bring him on your first 21 night. You don't want to remember it like this. And then you got Looney being cut. Get this goddamn girl. Why she ain't got no bottom you fish, bro? What is wrong? You broke a little bit. That's his shit. Well, he got a Kansas City shirt on. I ain't fucking with none of that. None of that. Damn. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I see some of y'all out here dating. He's still a baby. And you just turned 21, and he's still a baby. Stand up for me, ma'am. Stand up real quick. Ma'am, send his ass home. You got potential. You got potential. It's going. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave it alone. Back to what I was saying. Um, so dating has been really hard. Um, I'm really, 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 really tired of the dating sites. Um, I mean, call out your tragedy if you will. Um, P O F Tinder, Black People Me, Facebook Me, ChristianMingle.com, Grinder. I'm just saying. I'm tired of it, because first of all, Little Rock is only so big. I gotta have, oh, y'all gotta have a meeting about it back there. I just see it. I love how the two single people talking to the two people that's a couple. I just, that's what we were just talking about. Some advising them on shit you don't know about. You know what I'm saying? But see, I'm glad it got cold. They got a little cold snap on so I know my legs out, but I'm big. I can maintain heat. But I'm telling you, my type is in now. It is fluffy boy falling. I'm happy about that shit. Ooh, I'm happy about that shit. Ain't nothing better than not having to pay a high ass gas bill because a fat dude in your house will warm up everything. You know what I'm talking about? And I see some of you getting a little cringe about me with big men. First and foremost, I want you to know I do not discriminate. I have dealt with skinny men. And when I say, God damn you, man. And when I say skinny, I mean skinny, okay? With dreads. I mean, I have walked around with a Dollar Tree mop before I lost so long. And the only thing that really upsets me, because I don't, I don't see eye to eye with skinny men is, they forget to feed you, and I'm not okay with that. I'm 28 years old. I ain't missed a meal in 29 years. You understand me? I ain't got time for that. But the big thing is, people ask me dumb questions. They're like, mate. Do you sleep with them? I'm like, hell yeah. Y'all ain't never slept next to somebody with a CPAP machine? I'm just... <laughs> just you? Just me and you? Okay, that's cool. She didn't need a $40 in her life. Mind your business. Um, but the main thing is, I tell people, they get mad and they're like, well, May, do you? Do you? Do you suck they dick? Yes. Y'all ain't never put a motherfucking stomach on your back? <laughs> and handle your business? It's good for the core in the back. Y'all, my name is Comedian May Gay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh, y'all give it up for Miss May Gay. Y'all give it up, give it up, give it up. Give it up. Yeah. And my only dude there, when she was looking at drink down, she was like, I'm a teacher. I was like, listen, bitch, I'm going to get you in the house to teach mine. I was, <laughs> I'm just saying, when she was like, I'm a teacher, I was like, do you teach that? Just saying, she was on that motherfucker like, <laughs> <laughs> 